Hey, what's up, guys? It's your friend, Fast Eddie. And tonight, I'm going to do my awesome freaking Texas Chainsaw Massacre evidence bag. I love this thing immensely. This is definitely one of my favorite things in my whole collection. I really love this just because I haven't seen... I've only seen one more, and that was from uh, Disc Junkie. And as soon as I saw him do it, the hunt was on, man, and I had to go search for one of these. And I got really lucky and found one on eBay. So I snatched it up right then and there. And I still haven't seen another one. So, like I said, I think I got really lucky finding one of these. But uh, anyway, this is it, man. Evidence bag. As you can see, it's got the little evidence sticker on there. Almost looks like a giant, thick uh, Ziploc freezer bag or something, you know. I'm turn around this way. And we get the little... Uh, like mini movie poster of it, I guess. The promotional poster. Uh, go ahead and open it up. See all the goodies inside. First thing we'll start off with, I guess I'll go ahead and pull the little uh, poster thingy out. So yeah, that was it. Um, like I said, I guess this was like one of the first uh, promotional posters that anybody got to see of where they were going to go with this uh, remake and it's very cool. This is the cover of a lot of the DVDs. So, uh, yeah. That was at the front of the bag. And now, let's get into the real goodies. So, the first thing we'll pull out is the Epsom salt. How cool is that? It almost looks like a big old can of Spam. <laughs> but, uh, I guess it's really packed in there because this thing's heavy, man. Nice, tight, and heavy. But, uh... I can just see Leatherface ripping open one of these every time he cuts like somebody's leg or head off and shoving the salt in the wounds. You know, I guess so they can uh, stay alive a little longer and torture him a little more. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's pretty neat, huh? The Epsom salt. It says Red Arrow Laboratories, Waco, Texas. How about that? Anyway, there you go. There's the Epsom salt. Next. Take a look at some of the pictures. It comes with three pictures in here. And the first one is, I guess, of Leatherface and his family. And these are really cool, too. They're nice and, like, crisp and hard, like you would... A real old picture would be, you know? And it's got that patina finish to it. And it's cool. It's like the whole uh, family shot there. Really neat. And the second one, I guess, is maybe supposed to be, like, Leatherface and his mom or something like that. Same type of deal with the finish and all. Very cool. And then the third one I think is the coolest one of all. It's like a uh, young leather face, you know, with his skin just starting to fall off or something when he was a kid. But uh, very cool photos, man. So that's the pictures that come with it. Next, we get Kemper's bracelet. Now, I don't know if you, uh, well, I'm sure you. You know the movie, you know who Kemper was, the, pretty much the main guy. And uh, so I guess maybe this is like his, bra his bracelet fell off when he was being dragged somewhere or, you know, after he cut his arms or hands off or something, this was left behind. So that's, that's a really cool piece to me. I think that's a really cool thing to put in there to identify him with, you know. But uh, then we get the evidence jar. Another really cool item. And, uh, like I said, this is the only second one I've seen. But the one that, uh, this junkie had also is missing, like, a piece of tape right here. So, I'm assuming that's just really the way it comes. So, uh, like, maybe it's somebody tampered with it or tried to break into it or something, you know? But anyway, it's got, like, little hair follicles in there and a, a blood sample, which is really cool. Really neat stuff, man. Cool effect. So, anyway. Then... We get the really cool evidence tag. I mean, it looks like something that you would really see, you know, at the scene of a crime. You know, somebody tagging somebody with it or obviously putting it in the evidence bag. And it's got like the, it almost looks like real handwriting on it, you know. Um, you know, it says the suspect is Thomas Hewitt and uh, where they found him at and the type of offense, obviously, is homicide. That's pretty cool what they actually wrote. The description of evidence was meat hook embedded in baby doll scorched by fire. And it was in the furnace room of the Hewitt home. 
and it was recovered by Mark Wallace, I guess as the uh, CSI officer or whatever. But very cool, man. I, I, I love this set. It's just so, so cool and so, like, all about what the film is supposed to be, you know what I mean? And, uh, I don't know, it just brings a whole new essence to the story for me and makes it even more realistic than the uh, story was based on, you know? Just very, very cool piece to me, and I've always been wanting to show this off for a while, so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the little uh, poster back in there. Go ahead and grab the salt. Put that back in there. Throw his bracelet down there in the bottom and we can go ahead and put the pictures in I mean how cool of a job there was this as a promotional item you know what I mean what an awesome way to really get out there and promote this movie and tell a little more of the background about it and where you're really going at going at it with this movie you know so cool what a great idea man makes me just love it even more you know the movie that is but, um, anyway, it's very, very cool. And I also did get the other cool item that I've really, really been wanting from the, uh, Texas Chainsaw Master series. I don't want to spoil it yet, but I think most of you know what I'm talking about because I've been wanting it for so long. And, uh, people that I do talk to and chat with a little bit, they all know what it is and what I've been wanting, so... But, uh, this is kind of like the cake, and then the next item I'm getting is like the icing on the cake, man. So, anyway, that's it. That's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, promotional item evidence bag thingamajig. So, that's it. Alright, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, guys, please go ahead and do that for me. And hopefully, I'll see you right here next time. See ya.